Hi everybody, it's Susie. Welcome to my channel, Dragonfly Bees. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you what I found at Savers. I went yesterday and um, I didn't film inside because it was a bit too crowded. So, brought everything home, started taking photos, was ready to post them online, and then I was thinking, hey, why don't I share them with you? So you will know exactly what I found. So, here goes. If you should see anything that you may like, email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. First off, I found a pair of bandolinos. They're a size 7 with the oval toe. Really pretty yellow wedge heel. In the front, you can see that there's a beautiful flower made of uh, leather and suede. And on the side, it's partially open. Turning them over to its side, you can see the other uh, side is closed. They're very clean. It's just a really pretty shoe for uh, springtime, I guess. And here's a view from the other side. It's, they look very comfortable. Um, it's a very pretty shoe. Here's what it looks like on the bottom. As you can see, it's really hardly worn. Um, there are no scuffs in the toe area. It looks, it looks really clean. Here's a view of the bottom uh, heel. And they look to be pretty good. Just a couple black spots, but that could be cleaned. Here's a view of the back part. Uh, the heels are not worn. There are no scuffs on the actual wedge uh, portion. So yeah, they're pretty good. So overall, the Bandolino uh, shoe is in very good condition in my mind. And um, the cost was only $5.59. Next, I found a Leah ladybug brooch. It's so adorable. It was um, hidden <laughs> on the wall uh, where all the jewelry is hanging in the back behind some other pins. And um, when I saw it, I couldn't resist. It is vintage. Um, it's basically uh, red enamel on a gold tone body. It has rhinestones on its body and rhinestones for its eyes. Um, and it even has those little gold bumps on the body. Uh, it is signed Leah on the back. It's just, I mean, it's even pretty substantial in, in weight. Uh, it's just in really good condition. The red enamel is not chipped. Um, it's just adorable. I could not resist. And uh, when I said substantial weight, I actually put it on a scale just to see how much does this weigh. So as you can see, it says 11 grams, 11.38 uh, grams. So, the price I paid for him was a dollar fifty nine. Next up is uh, this pair of red heels. They're made by Two Lips. They're in size eight and a half. I found them to be really um, unique. They have a black heel, a chunky heel that's kind of curved in. There's a square toed front that has this um, very nice embroidery uh, detailing. 
and it also flows down around the uh, black portion of the toe. Uh, they are open on either side, and I believe they're about three inches high, and um, I found them to be in pretty good shape. It doesn't seem to be worn um, as much, and here's a photo of them on their sides. Uh, the bottom has um, a grid, and yes, I can see uh, a little wear, but it's not substantial. And that should be coming up. There you go. So yeah, there is some wear. Um, it's not dirty. I can clean it up a bit. Uh, the heels, the heels have a little wear, as you can tell. Um, uh, but the they're not worn, meaning the heel portion is not worn down. Uh, most of the time, you would see worn heels slanted, but these are not um, not bad. Uh, they are very nice. They're made in Brazil. They do have. Uh, leather uppers and the price I paid for these are four dollars and 79 cents yeah savers um, took off 20% I have a discount each time I go next up is J Crew enamel bangles yeah I found these three in a set and there were two J. Crew bracelets and the pink one, which is a narrow narrower size, is unbranded. One of the J. Crew bracelets that you see here is in a zebra print and um, it's in good condition. And then the second J. Crew one that was in the lot was uh, in navy blue. Really pretty really good condition and the pink one like I said before is not branded but it is in good shape and it came together and I thought they look pretty nice so yeah I probably will sell them together um, as opposed to individually so they even look pretty nice together the colors um, for these three I paid $5.58. So, yes, I think they're nice. Next up, I found this gorgeous Leah Sophia medallion pendant necklace. As you can see, it's made up of all these beautiful rhinestones and glass beads and faux pearls. Um, unfortunately, if you look closer, you may have noticed there are two stones missing on the medallion. Uh, one on top at the 12, 12 uh, o'clock mark and the 3 p.m. mark. They are those uh, faux moonstone-like uh, gems that are missing. Uh, there's the hang tag. She does make beautiful jewelry. Uh, I couldn't pass this up because I still think it's pretty. Uh, the medallion is two inches high uh, all around. The necklace is about 20 inches long and there is an extender which is three inches long. Um, overall it's such a beautiful piece and I paid $3.99 and um, perhaps someone can uh, fix it and keep it or resell it themselves. Down the home stretch two more items to go. Uh, the next thing I purchased was this uh, cosmetic case. It's from Sears it's vintage. It's from the 70s, from their Featherlight series. 
and it's black and brown vinyl it has a brown handle on top this wrap around very sturdy zipper um, and it also came with a lock but unfortunately I don't have the key um, overall it's in fairly decent very good vintage condition um, I believe it hasn't even been used uh, there are these really nice feet on the bottom in gold tone it's very clean uh, as you can tell on the bottom and the front has this little lock type of closure where you slip um, the tab in it still has the plastic on it so the only thing I noticed that I need to clean would be the interior um, there is a little dust but that's the pocket there is an inside pocket and in the um, lid there is a mirror and the mirror is it's original mirror and it's pretty substantial it's thick and there's a Sears tag and for this particular item I paid six dollars so I thought that was nice I saved the best for last I found this um, Banana Republic statement necklace I think it's so pretty I love the green color. It's like a green jade color. It's made up of these green plastic faceted bezel disc that basically uh, go all around the collar up to the clasp. And there is a lobster clasp. And also the hang tag that says BR. This necklace is about 21 and a half inches long and it's in really good condition. There's no wear, there's no tarnish. Uh, the back is also, um, it's open back. It's just a beautiful necklace. Um, there is one pendant longer in the center with uh, three dangling pendants on either side of it it's just really nice and i paid three dollars and 19 cents so i couldn't pass that up so that was my trip to savers i hope you enjoyed this